New Orleans East is going to get more billboards. The city council approves it. Oliver Thomas says it's for the local businesses to advertise. No, it's not. It's for lawyers and attorneys to advertise, period, end of story. You know, if you own like an Italian restaurant, you bought a billboard and it was one of those double billboards. It was like Corey's Italian. And right under it was the corporal's Italian restaurant. Wouldn't you call the billboard company and go, guys, I I want a billboard, but I don't want it next to the competition. There's so many attorneys and lawyers advertising. Some of those double billboards will be double stacked with attorneys, competitors. I'd be ticked off. I'd be like, guys, I'm paying you X amount a month. I want a, a billboard that stands alone. Put a restaurant under that or something else. Oh, I'm sorry. We're the billboard company. All we have are lawyers and attorneys primarily. It's obnoxious. It really is. It, it, we are such a litigious state. All we do is sue. And these commercials are obnoxious. They almost say like... Hey, if you're not even legitimately hurt, you're just looking to blame someone for your own stupidity. We got a check for you. It is a major problem. Lawyers, the billboard companies, I remember they're going to change the law where lawyers couldn't advertise on billboards. And the billboard companies and the lawyers went to Baton Rouge, the needs of the few outweighing the needs of the many, us, and they got that thrown out. They paid off the politicians. They made donations and the politicians followed. It is utterly ridiculous. They were going to change advertising laws where the law, the advertisements could be so obnoxious. Same deal. The lawyers stepped up and said, it helps these co- helps us make a lot more money when the commercials that are obnoxious and in your face. Some guy standing in front of like a, you know, in the old days, it was like a brand new stereo system in TV. That's sort of outdated. But, you know, Joe Blow got me a check for 400 grand, which means he kept about 300,000 of it. I wonder how many people could just settle on their own with the insurance company and not have to give 40 percent. That's what the lawyers get. 40 percent. I love the Dudley DeBosier commercial. It's the Louisiana guarantee. It's everybody's guarantee. No lawyer gets paid until you get paid. You know, know, unless it's a legitimate lawyer, they may request some money up front to, to, to make a settlement for you. But no, it's, it's obnoxious. It really is. You know, so many people just looking to sue somebody and then the, the, and back, oh, the doctor can't find anything, but there's like a line to say, I have a catch in my neck and back and I feel a little dizzy. Kaboom goes the dynamite, you get a check. And people don't care, ethics, integrity, morals, doing the right thing. That's thrown out the window for such a large percentage of the population. And in dysfunctional, broken Louisiana, I would think it's even bigger than other states. I mean, it's a nationwide American dilemma. But I would think here in Louisiana, it's even more egregious. They're everywhere. It's beyond obnoxious. And if you really had a legitimate lawsuit like that was life or death, you wouldn't want these jokers on TV handling it because they don't know a courtroom. You might know the courtroom and the law better than they do. They are simply insurance company facilitators. They're not lawyers or attorneys. They're insurance company facilitators. Old Boris Mart. Has a commercial where he's like, we've settled 10 billion. No, no, I'm sorry. A billion in settlements. At 40%, that means Boris Mart is pulled in 400 million. 400 million in fees. If he's, you know, cocking off about a billion in settlements, like that's some kind of grand achievement and he's helped people. I would think like, the majority of the folks are lying or exaggerating, embellishing, that type of thing. Just a sad state of affairs.